What's going on guys? Um, <clears throat> so it's Kaden. Um, I haven't made like a topic video in a while. So while it's fresh in my brain, I wanted to go ahead and, you know, just make, have a quick, you know, conversation. Let's, let's sit down and talk for a little while. So, <clears throat> you know, there's all this controversy um, stemming from, you know, um, you know, the rights of transgender people like myself to use the restroom in which we identify with. Um, I personally have been using the men's restroom since it's been well over 10 years now and have never had an issue. I've never once peeked at a dick or an ass or looked under the stall or anything of that nature, all this, all this stuff that, um, everybody is claiming is, is, is the reason why we're trying to take a pee. Um, I just want to address, like, a couple of these, these fear-mongering things that people are saying, like, oh, um, <clears throat> this opens up the door for people to, you know, dress, you know, for men to put on women's clothes and go into the women's bathroom and say, oh, I'm trans. Um, the problem with, with that argument is that, um, it's not like this bill is, is saying, oh, you know, trans people have not been able to use the restroom in which they identify with, so now we're going to allow them to. So now people are like, oh shit, you know, this is the time when I can go and, you know, pull out my many wigs and, and my makeup and all that shit and get myself all gussied up to go pretend to be a woman and go into the women's bathroom so that I can look at whatever because first of all what the hell is there to look at in a woman's bathroom you would act like we're like like women were walking around in you know in in the nude in the bathroom there are stalls there are you know stalls <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's like women are just walking to the bath the restroom and like ah oh, let me take my bra off and let these titties hang out like that's not even what goes on so I'm not understanding what the problem is um furthermore um that argument really holds no weight because um most rape and mol molestation takes place in a familiar place like um your home for for example um, it really kills me that people are are talking about this, making such a big deal about this restroom thing. Um, and they know that Uncle Ray Ray and them have been molesting the kids for years, but they're just kind of turning a blind eye to it. Um, I can't tell you how many people that I've come across that have been molested by somebody in their family. Um, but nobody's worried about that. Let's worry about Target's restrooms. Um, then, you know, you have the molestation and the child pornography and all that stuff that is is um, popping up with all these pastors and these lawmakers and these teachers. These teachers are fucking your kids. But you're worried about, you're worried about the restroom. The restroom in which there have been no documented assaults or molestations or anything of that nature that happened in a restroom from a person who identified as trans, whether they were trans or pretending to be trans. So people are like, oh, well, this opens this up and da 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 da. It's giving people ideas. How is it giving people ideas? If you guys would have never brought the shit up, it wouldn't even be an issue right now. So then it makes you believe, it makes you wonder, like, you know, who the fuck thought this shit up? <laughs> Who was sitting at home like, damn, you know, these damn transgender people, they don't need to pee. Pee when you're at home, and if you ever have to, don't drink any water when you're out, because if you have to pee, you shouldn't be able to pee, because you're not going to be happy. <clears throat> I can guarantee you, you will not be happy with me walking into the women's restroom. pre -t, I had issues walking into the women's restroom. Hence why I switched over into the men's restroom before I ever even started physically transitioning because it was always an issue. I'd always be, you know, walking into the restroom, minding my black ass business, and I'd have a woman walk in and check the sign and look at me and check the sign again and look at me like, 
you guys will never be happy. And what you're asking these businesses to do is build a whole new restroom, a whole new gender neutral restroom, um, which costs money, by the way, just to appease your comfort. Well, let me tell you something. If you don't want to piss in the, in the bathroom, if you women don't want to piss in the bathroom with trans women, and you men don't want to piss in the bathroom with trans men, then I suggest you piss before you leave the house. Don't drink any water and get your ass uh, motherfucking uh, catheter or whatever it is that you need to do so that you can stay the fuck out of the bathroom because the bathroom is not a perverted space. It's a place where you go and you urinate and you defecate and you powder your nose and you walk the fuck out. If it's anything else other than that for you, then you, my friend, are the one with the problem, not us. Peace.